Hi, this is Michael, and this will be my review of the Klein Tools MM1000 Digital Multimeter. Here is what's included. First of all, here is the MM1000, and this is a, uh, it's got a rubber case over the instrument itself. Uh, you do have test lead holders on the back here, and those are pretty snug. And then it does have the bail, and the bail's okay. It's not fantastic. It's a little narrow, so when the multimeter is uh, on a table or a flat surface, it, it does rock around a little bit if you're not too careful, but as far as just having it uh, hold it up, it does that, and that just pushes right back into the case. So I'll give you a nice slow look at the multimeter here. Battery was already installed. Uh, you also get the test leads. Now these are 36 inches in length. There's a thermocouple that's included, and again that cable length is 36 inches. And then there are some alligator clips, and the way those go on is there's a little uh, cover on the test leads, and then these simply screw on to the uh, onto the test lead there. So that's how those work. Then there are uh, manuals provided. Uh, they're not the best manuals, but um, if you're a complete uh, beginner with a multimeter, at least they'll get you started, but you're certainly going to want uh, a little more information. Um, English, Spanish, and French. The multimeter uh, has a very nice display on it, really large numerals, which are quite nice. Uh, this button on the end here was the hold button, but it also, if you press and hold it, it will turn on the back uh, illumination. And it's a very even light, and it does have good side-to-side -side legibility. And I'll turn that off. You can, see, you can see it very good from sharp angles. Then this is the maximum and minimum button. This is a range button. Uh, this is a select button. And this is a, uh, I'm not sure what this button is for, to be quite honest. Uh, my intended purpose for this is just for around the house to measure voltages, uh, check wire continuity, pretty simple things like this. So I'm no expert when it comes to digital multimeters. The dial uh, seems to be quite precise. It clicks right into the function that you need. And you can also turn it when the multimeter is flat. Um, however, it does spin a little bit. Uh, I've had other multimeters that spin completely around. You just can't turn it at all. But if you apply a little downward pressure, uh, you can see that I am able to spin it to a different function with it just flat on the ground here. All right, I just wanted to show you, I actually said this was rubber. Uh, it might be silicone too. It's kind of a hard, feels harder than silicone but it doesn't exactly feel like rubber either, so I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's polyurethane. In any case, uh, it does come off, but it does take a little uh, finagling to get the meter out of it. Uh, I just wanted to show you the battery compartment, and so you've got to unscrew one screw here, Phillips said, and then once that comes out, this opens up. And there are your batteries, and then there are your two fuses. So all in all, this is, uh, seems to be pretty capable. Uh, again, I'm not an electronics expert or an electrician. I just use this for simple household things. But I will show you just one thing. Uh, I'm going to check the continuity and just let you hear the buzzer, because that seems to be something that people always want to check out. <laughs> So I'll turn this on to the ohms indicator here, and then underneath it in red shows you that there's a different function, so a uh, different function available. So I just push the select button, and then you can see that this uh, symbol up here changed to what looks like a speaker, and so that should let me check the continuity here, and you can hear the tone. So that works, and then uh, I could also suppose I could check the voltage of a battery if I can find a battery here. All right, I have a uh, AA cell here, and this has been in a wireless mouse, so it's not uh, necessarily going to have a full charge in it. So again, uh, right now this is to set to AC, so I need to switch this to DC, 
and we will check the voltage on this. One point four six nine, and there is a hold. I'm trying to do everything with uh, just my hands here. Can push the hold button, and that'll hold that value. So that's just a couple things that I could show you quickly here. Uh, I'm quite happy with this for what I use it for in and around my house, checking voltages, continuity, things of that nature. Uh, if you have more experience with a multimeter, it'll do a lot of other things as well. So one other thing I'll show you here, I'll check the thermocouple. Uh, I just boiled some water in the microwave and I've got it right here in my coffee cup. So this literally just came out of the microwave, so it should be pretty close to 212 degrees. Yeah, that's about as close as it can get. It probably lost just a little bit walking over here. So uh, as far as I can tell, the thermocouple is measuring pretty accurate uh, temperatures. And uh, so that's just a sample of a couple things you can use this digital multimeter with. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a great day.